This is arm drag and arm or collar drag week. We want to start on the knees. We did this yesterday, so uh, this is just a review, and then we're going to do it standing up later. So she's on her knees. I'm in seated guard. I've got these are called uh, butterfly hooks. To make it simple, I'm just going to grab her wrist right now, and then I'm going to take that leg out. Okay, grab the wrist, take that leg out. I'm grabbing up near the armpit on the tricep, no thumb, it's a scoop. I drag her arm across, put my fist on the floor, and scoop my rear end at the same time. Grab the hip, pop up to the knee, and I'm looking in the same direction she is, and there's no space in here. If I, if I have space, she can get an underhook on me and drive me back on the ground. So I can start like that, here or here, doesn't matter. Can you all see? Let's turn this way. You all move around if you need to, right? So let's see what I got. Take the leg out. So I've got two on one control right now. Drag her arm, fist on the floor. Scoot. No space in here. Hand inside the thigh. Okay, is a good way to do it. Sometimes here. If I don't scoot my rear into the side, then she lands on me. I have to create somewhere for her to land. I have to be out of the way. See, I'm, I was, I'm gone. She lands in the pit. Okay. This is how you set it up. Start like that. And then fist on a four comes next. Butt scoot and drag. If my hook stays in, that's great. And then let me take the back. Sometimes you end up in clock, that's fine. Switch a little bit. Okay. No thumb. High near the armpit. And fist on the floor. Look in the same direction. I got my hand side of the thigh. I have one hook already. One of the ways you take the back is slide up, kick off the floor. That's a real good uh, finish there. With the choke. I'm just doing one side right now. You can get this. Just try to do your bad side. Little shake. Questions? You can do this with the collar. Everything's the same now. Actually, I feel like I can I can bounce this head off the floor a little harder with the collar. So you do the collar too. Now, the arm that I want to get his collar with, I start like this the block. To protect my front leg from single. And I reach out my weak arm first and I shoot it in. Okay, now to make this easy for everybody, just put your feet even ground, right? When I do it for real, I don't, I don't care too much about how you stand, but I will start like this. And I'm going to take a big step out to the left and I'm going to act like I'm trying to trip his leg, okay? Um, sometimes I catch his leg, sometimes he doesn't. I'm not, I don't really care too much about that. Okay? Like that. Here. If he falls straight to turtle, maybe I'll end up like this. Um, usually I, I don't land with a hook in. I, I end up in a uh, uh, clock. That's fine. That's good. I had the hook for a second, but then he hopped over the hook. That happens a lot. And I'm in a real good spot here. You see, guys, a lot of times they'll land like this and they'll spin immediately to the rear end. But hey, I got the tape down, I'm on top, so I'm fine with that. If he stays in turn, we'll come right up and, and do the same fish we were doing earlier. Nothing really changes. You might have to put your hook in. That's a lot of a leverage. A lot of leverage. Very 
hard.